Electricity powered hero Livewire helped. I knew he was going to be black. <laughs> Welcome to another episode, or a special episode, I should say, of Superhero Club. I am going to watch a video, uh, the newest video from the Vot News Network, um, and just share my thoughts as I watch, <laughs> watch this train wreck, maybe? I don't know yet, but we'll find out. I I wonder who, I wonder if Vought makes Cameron Cole pay for his suits. Bringing you no tricks, just the greatest treat of all, the truth. Welcome everyone, I'm Cameron Coleman, and this is 7 on 7, bringing you VNN's top seven stories from around the globe. I think Cameron needs some sleep a little bit. Kicking off today's news, despite being secure... Mm, not Stormfront. Mm. ...horrific charges against her, Stormfront's words seem to resonate with a surprisingly large group of Americans. Furthering this report, a group of loyalists calling themselves the Storm Chasers have recently Our original, stepped forward. The Storm Chasers. Help keep fighting for Stormfront's vision of the future. Mm. While the group has remained relatively peaceful, the heavily armed And they probably would storm a place on January 6th, if you know what I mean. Demanding that Stormfront's whereabouts be made public. But despite the group's loud and boisterous claims, VOD executives are keeping quiet for now. I hope that for now is never comes. The Oceanland crowd was given a rare treat as the deep not this public appearance to welcome the park's newest family member, a baby bottlenose dolphin named Dinky, who was gifted to the park by the Saving Our Seas Aquatic Animal Foundation, sponsored by Vaud International. Hopefully, of course. the dramatic ocean mammal helps to fill the void left behind from the tragic death of Oceanland's previous lead dolphin attraction just a couple of years ago. Yeah, from the deep. Dinky, the Dinky country, needs protection. Vought International stock prices continue to grow following its acquisition of Heaven's... Oh, wait, Vought grows food? I wouldn't eat that. ...farm to shelf grocery store chain. Both Wall Street and Vought share... Heaven's Harvest. ...favorably to this mm. week's announcement, as the news seems to be producing great results for investors. I'm sure, yeah, because it's probably got GMOs and uh, Compound V in it. Old costume recently, bringing wholesome American values back to the forefront of her public persona. Just in time for Halloween, Starlight's you know, costume is quickly becoming this year's favorite go-to costume for girls, surpassing Queen Maeve... Who is buying it? The people shopping at Heaven's Harvest? Numbers. Supply clearly isn't meeting mm. the demand as stores are wrapped oh, Queen Maeve. with unopened packages selling for as much as $200. $200? After the break, is the FBSA overstretching their authority? I don't think so. Y'all know they, they cannot go a moment without slandering the FBSA. Now, what is this commercial hitting on? Hey there, I'm the Deep. Oh, the Deep. While I'm privileged to be one of the world's greatest superheroes, I'm even more privileged today to announce my new title as Chief Sustainability Associate at Liquid Death Mountain Water. What? Scientists, and most of the dolphins I've talked to, say that by 2050, plastic pollution will outweigh fish life pound for pound in our oceans. Not a condom. Pure mountain water comes in aluminum cans. I was gonna say something, I'm not gonna say it though. <sighs> Ten percent of all profits go to help ocean plastic cleanup. That's pretty cool. We can all be heroes. If y'all burn the plastic, I don't think that's good. It's gonna burn for a long time. <laughs> y'all are gonna die. Oh, yeah, of course you can't breathe, honey, it's plastic. Keep our oceans beautiful. Mm, liquid death. Electricity-powered hero Livewire helped... I knew he was going to be black. ...for, for trick-or-treaters in <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin, after busting an underground... Of course, Livewire is black. ...using children's candy to traffic illegal methamphetamines around the Midwest. Livewire's mm. efforts definitely saved the day as nearly... Yes, because giving, putting drugs in children's candy, expensive drugs, is exactly what they would do. Mm -hmm. ...of it a nearby Vought chemical facility before... Yeah, he sure. Treats ...probably had compound V in it. ...heroically making a stand against cancel culture's outlandish war on Halloween. I'm sorry, it is sending me that live wire is black. I also already knew that, but still. Reports of a homicidal hitchhiker continue to pour in from the... Ooh, who did this sketch? The Homelander definitely drew that. ...based on eyewitness accounts. Authorities are advising mm. to immediately report any sightings and to avoid any contact with this person, as they are wanted in connection with several violent crimes. 
Vaught has offered the Seven's assistance in bringing this violent criminal to justice, with Black Noir volunteering to deal with the situation as quickly and obviously as quietly as possible. I'm sure he's gonna play a piano riff after he killed him too. Luckily, I don't think Black Noir can be anything other than quiet. Oh, <laughs> Cameron, that was real cute. Capping off today's program. Ezekiel, the charismatic face of Samaritan's Embrace, has become the latest victim of the FBSA. FBSA slander, here we go. Entrepreneur may be bending the rules a bit with his 501c status, but... Oh, now he evading his taxes. ...of abuse and misconduct solely based on anonymous sources, even legal. Spoiler alert. Well... The FBSA mm -hmm. is nothing but a highly funded government campaign against the superhuman. That nasty Newman, that is alliteration. Only target and take down the hardworking heroes who give mm. everything for this nation. Care about the bus, a blood vessel. He better calm down, because I know bots insurance is not that good. Seriously attacked by people like vicious Victoria Newman and her soup hating mm. lapdog, Hugh Campbell. Okay, he made the soup. Okay, he, he getting paid, because he ain't had money like that before. For now, which is something for all of us to think about. What is that, Cam? The American. So, until next time, this is VNN's Cameron Coleman. And from me and everyone here at Vought Tower, keep seeking the truth mm -hmm. and stay true okay. to red, white, and blue. And I'll see you next time. I know, because you got bills to pay. You know, I really love these videos uh, so much. <laughs> the Vought News Network gives me everything I want and more. Whoever is playing Cameron Coleman, um, hats off to you because you give it every single time. And I am looking forward to doing another reaction video to this next month because we'll get another seven on the seven. Thank you for joining me for a new addition to Superhero Club. And remember that you can watch The Boys on Amazon Prime Video uh, streaming now. So go ahead and do that because season three will be here before you know it. Bye.